video uh, is a general look at our gravity racer design. Um, have a look at the general construction of the chassis, which you see here, and um, in a more detailed look at the suspension, steering, and brakes. The chassis construction is um, made from 20mm RHS square tube and steel welded together and uh, these photos show some of the phases of construction uh, it changed a few times as we were building it but uh, you can see it's taking shape here steel frame was then clad uh, in part with aluminium, particularly on the floor. Uh, the aluminium isn't structural but it does add quite a bit of stiffness to the chassis. Uh, it's 1.2mm aluminium, uh, so that's basically just riveted and bonded to the frame. The uh, design philosophy of the gravity racer is very simple, it's to minimise rolling resistance. Um, so everything has been designed with that in mind. Uh, the weight is under 60 kilograms for the whole vehicle. Um, we've used very skinny tyres and uh, at high pressure and they're scooter wheels and uh, we've used uh, we've designed our own oil bath hubs. Uh, shown here the they're actually just with standard bearings but they'll be replaced by open bearings uh, in the light oil bath which have much lower rolling resistance than a seal bearing like this. Suspension is designed to keep the wheels under control um, and consists of unequal length double wishbone at the front and trailing arms at the rear. Uh, we don't have any camber on the wheels, camber adds drag, so by not cambering the wheels we reduce drag very slightly. some caster, about five degrees of caster for self-centering of the steering and the kingpin angle is about 14 degrees. bowstring system which I'll show in more detail shortly and uh, features a lot Ackerman. The steering mechanism itself is under this cover. Uh, the cover is basically there just to um, keep your legs out of the mechanism and uh, keep it clean. I'll take that cover off in a second and we'll have a look at the steering mechanism. So this part is the capstan which is mounted directly on the steering shaft and around the capstan is wound cable, three turns and then the cable um, which is the bow string is mounted to the bow which is the gold uh, straight part behind via these tensioners at the end. The bow is firmly bolted to this carriage which slides on some bars 
and also on the carriage is this plate which uh, attaches directly to the tie rods. As you turn the steering shaft, it simply winds the cable backwards and forwards, which slides the carriage and moves the tie rods. Tie rods are connected to the steering arms via some ball joints, and the steering arms are just welded to the kingpins. The main advantage of this kind of steering mechanism over a rack and pinion is that this is buildable by do-it-yourself or in a garage with simple materials uh, because it doesn't require high precision. Rack and pinion would be much harder to, to, to build accurately, you need special equipment or you'd have to buy the rack and the pinion which would be more costly so that's why we've done it this way essentially. Uh, precision isn't high. Um, the angle between the capstan and the bow can vary as much as you want and the amount of clearance there can vary quite a bit. So now we'll talk about the brakes. Uh, the brakes are cable operated. Um, you press this foot pedal. The foot pedal pulls on this dolly. The dolly slides backwards and forwards and pulls the brake balance bar which pulls the cables. The cables run back through the vehicle to drum brakes at the rear. The cable pulls on this lever and the lever rotates a cam and the cam pushes the shoes against the drum. The drums are fabricated from some centrifuge buckets that we found in a, in a skip and just happen to be the perfect size for, uh, <coughs> for the job using uh, moped brake shoes. If you can see the internal of the, of the brake hub, uh, very traditional sort of drum brake, two mo moped shoes um, and a simple cam which forces them apart. So that's the general look at the chassis design of the Gravity Racer. We're not concerned with aerodynamics at this stage, the, there'll be a, an aerodynamic body shell over the whole chassis um, which we'll cover in a later video. I hope you enjoyed watching.